Welcome to Continental Hydraulics introduction to the variable volume vein pump products. Today we will try to cover what is available, why you should consider using a vein pump, how they work, and who typically uses this type of pump and why they use them. Today the users of fluid power and system designers have a multitude of choices of hydraulic pump types to use. Each style of pump has its place and time to be used and is the correct choice for that application. Obviously, Continental Hydraulics and Hydrico don't offer every style pump in our portfolio, but together we have most options. Overall, we can now do and offer the following type of pumps. We have gear pumps or fixed displacements with pressures up to 5,000 psi. Displacements up to 14 and a half cubic inches. We offer helical gear and spur gear pumps together with either cast iron bodies or aluminum bodies. We offer birotational pumps and we offer dump pumps. We also offer piston pumps. We have a fixed displacement bent axis up to 7 cubic inch displacement and 5,000 psi. We also offered fixed displacement birotational pumps up to two and three quarter cubic inch displacement and pressures capabilities of over 4,600 PSI. We also offer variable displacement piston pumps. We have the axle piston pumps with either trunnion or saddle block designs, pressures up to 4,000 PSI, displacements up to four cubic inches, and a variety of control options. We also offer variable volume vein pumps. Today's product focus. With all the pumps at our disposal, why should you consider the use of a pressure compensated vein pump? As seen in the previous slide, there are many options that are available to meet the customer's request. The most powerful, highest pressure, or the fastest is not always the best or correct option. If that were the case, well, then let's climb into your Ferrari 812 and go get some groceries. You must ask for and know the important criteria when trying to design a system to perform a task. What is the ambient area like that the pump and other products must function and live in? What flow rate is required to meet the cycle times? What pressure is required to do the work? Is quiet, long, trouble-free life without downtime important? Or is initial investment cost important? Do you have constraints like physical space, fluid types, temperature, altitude, etc.? Note, I did not say I need a gear, piston, or vein pump. The above type information will drive us to select the best product for the task at hand. Continental Hydraulics Variable Displacement Pressure Compensated Vein Pumps are proven to deliver reliability and value in some of the most rugged applications. The Continental Vein Pumps are known for outstanding performance, long life, and quiet operation. Some of the key features of a variable displacement type pump, a single pump has flow rates up to 75 gallons a minute, Fast response and recovery times, 20 millisecond off stroke, 50 milliseconds on stroke. High re reliability with less moving parts than any other pressure compensated pump types. We have high volumetric and overall efficiencies, 94% volumetric, and this remains high throughout the pump's life with the vein self-adjusting to the pressure ring ID as wear occurs. We have continuous duty pressures up to 3,000 psi, which cover the vast majority of applications. We have very low noise levels, down to 67 dBA at 3,000 psi. We have all standard SAE type mountings, A, B, C, or D. Plus, we also have tandem type mountings and manifold mountings. We offer pressure compensation load sense, remote pressure control, dual pressure control options, torque limiting options, proportional pressure control options, 
and these pumps are also uniquely field repairable without special tools being required. Other key features of the variable pump, we have a very low pressure and flow ripple. We have low mechanical vibrations and hydraulic pulse, pulsations with only a rotary motion and no linear reciprocating motion. We use hydrodynamic journal bearings, which means virtually no wear out by contact. We are not limited to the B10 bearing life, as you'll see in other pump designs. We have inherent ring and vein wear compensation technology built in. We have pressure balance thrust plates that ensure optimal efficiencies throughout the pressure ranges. Some of the commonly shared concerns of a vein pump over a piston pump, one would be overall efficiency. Overall efficiency is the mechanical plus the volumetric. This is one of the biggest advantages of our vein pumps. We utilize hydrodynamic journal bearings with a large area forge one piece rotor shaft. On purpose, we port some of the outlet flow to the hydrodynamic journal bearings. Although this does affect the volumetric efficiency, the benefit to the user results in long life of the system. As in all pumps, wear occurs as soon as the pump is put into service. One of the vein pump's advantages over a piston pump is they compensate for wear. Example, as a vein tip wears, they just simply extend further out of the slots. Wear on the side plates occur due to the ring movement, but the pressure balance thrust plates move to keep the efficiencies the same. Whereas in a piston pump, Normal wear and tear, pistons and the barrels may wear out, and they don't grow to compensate for this. Another common concern, they're only rated to 3,000 PSI, where a piston pump is 5,000 PSI or more. For systems that require continuous operation above 3,000 PSI, a piston pump is the correct choice but don't confuse the higher pressure capabilities with better performance or life in systems that require 3,000 PSI or less to do the work. If this were the case, then all components used should be rated to higher pressures like hoses and manifolds, of which all add unnecessary cost. Although a product is rated for a higher pressure and gives that nice warm fuzzy feeling, that doesn't mean that the user will receive better performance or, most importantly, long, trouble-free operation. What is the cost? Another concern. Is the concerned cost of ownership? This should be the key talking point, not the cost of the initial investment. Long, service-free life reduces the cost of ownership. If this has, this has more of an impact than any initial cost savings that you may achieve with other pump designs. System design. Vein pumps have superior suction characteristics that allow the designer of the power unit to have more flexibility. They're known to survive with poor fluid lubricity and, suck, and filtration conditions. This means reduced downtime or loss of production. But, like with any hydraulic pump, please use good filtration. So how do these pumps work? The PVR series vein pump output is directly controlled via a spring acting on the camera. With the fuse moving parts, the direct spring operation allows for the system flow demand with fast reaction time. Figures 1 and 2 show how the camering moving provides the variable volume and constant pressure. When system pressure is below the set pressure of the pump, the force applied by the direct spring pushes the camering off center to the full offset position. As shown in figure 1, this is providing the flow. As the rotor turns counterclockwise in this cutaway view, the volume between the two adjacent veins or segments increases at the suction porting 
drawing the fluid into the pump. When these segments enter the pressure port area, the volume of these chambers is reduced and forces the fluid out through the pressure port. When system requirements are less than the maximum output, system pressure acts on the internal area of the Camry. As the internal force, force equals pressure times area, starts to become greater than the force applied by the spring in these assemblies, these forces start to compress the spring and allow the cam ring to move to a reduced off center or centered position, resulting in less flow as shown in figure two. Because the spring load is always present and trying to push the cam ring off center, the PVR pump is highly reactive to any system demand requirements. We also have walking ring technology to promote and result in long life. The walking ring or indexing occurs each time the spring pushes the cam ring off center to increase flow. This is a key feature of the variable volume vein pumps that provide long life. The reason this is a critical or key feature is as the veins transition from the suction port area over to the pressure port area, the critically designed port plate at one specific point ports pressurized oil to the bottom of each vein, generating a higher force to push the veins outward against the cam ring. Because of the walking ring technology, this one point where the veins are forced out against the cam ring is then evenly distributed around the entire ID of the cam ring, resulting in minimal wear. The PVX series pumps use hydraulic control via bias pistons acting directly on the cam ring, making them very application flexible by allowing for a variety of hydraulic control options. Figure 1 and 2 show the uh, moving cam ring uh, that, and how it provides the variable volume and pressure. The PVX series of variable pumps, vein pumps, the camering is offset condition is controlled by a two control pistons and a spring. In figure one, the camering is pushing to the full offset or maximum displacement by the offset spring plus the larger bias piston. As shown, both the smaller diameter and larger diameter control pistons at this point are connected to the outlet pressure port. But since the larger piston develops a higher force, the cam ring is moved to its full offset or maximum displacement position. As the rotor turns counterclockwise in the cutaway view, the volume between the two adjacent vein segments increases at the suction porting. When the vein segments enter the pressure port area, the volume is reduced and therefore forces the fluid out of the pressure port. When the system requirements are less than the maximum pump output, system pressure acts on the hydraulic control spool in the valve compensator to reduce the pressure in the larger bias piston while at the same time the smaller bias piston continues to see the system pressure. As the pressure is reduced or relieved by the compensator valve going to the larger piston, the force generated by the smaller piston will move the cam ring back towards the center condition, reducing the output volume as shown in figure two. Because the light bias spring and the differential area of the pistons are always active, the PVX pump is highly reacted, reactive to any system demands. Also, because the PVX pump use a hydraulic compensator valve assembly, other control options to control both the flow and the pressure can easily be adapted. Besides standard pressure compensation, we also offer load sense, remote pressure control, dual pressure or proportional, and torque limiting. This is making the PVX pumps very versatile. So, who uses these type of pumps and why? the forestry, pulp and paper, cardboard type industries, 
They use these for head positioning, carriage drives, trimmers, edgers, chippers, debarkers, presses, uh, all kinds of different applications. The variable vein pump is preferred by these industries for their ability to handle less than ideal fluid cleanliness and a wide variety of operating viscosities. Throughout the year, due to temperature variances, viscosities will change and these pumps handle that very, very well. For years, the simple, robust design of the vein pump has proven to withstand and efficiently work through these tough condition. Power generation type market, oil and gas, coal, turbines, solar, uh, their applications are for conveyors, coal crushers, loading and unloading, stamps, brusher systems, uh, array positioning and tracking, hydraulic gates. The variable volume vein pumps are preferred by these industries for their ability to operate very quietly, handle a wide range of fluid types, and with the hydrodynamic journal bearing, allows for long operation as fluid contaminants from ambient conditions tend to wear out other designs. The food and beverage industry, processing, packaging, pharmaceuticals, uh, they are used for conveyors, uh, kill slaughter floors, dump systems, packaging machines, presses. Uh, the variable volume vein pumps are preferred in these industries for their ability to work with the various food grade type fluids required and still provide long trouble free life. And they also like the very low noise levels generated and the fast response time of the dependable vein pumps. Plastic and rubber, injection molding, blow molding, vacuum forming. They're, they're used on grinders, conveyors, presses, clamps, positioning system. The variable pumps are preferred in these industries again to handle the wide variety of fluid types and with the hydrodynamic journal bearings allowed for long operation. The heavy industrial equipment, grain handling, brick and block industries, automotive manufacturing, uh, again, a lot of the same type of conveyors, shakers, overhead crane, compactors or presses, lift systems, augers, mixing, scales, truck dumpers, uh, a lot of different applications. The variable vein pumps are preferred in these industries for their ability to use, again, a wide variety of fluids and operating viscosities as many of these are also outside or in a very hot warm environment. Metal forming, machine tool, foundries, die cast, stamping, pipe rolling, steel mills type industries. They utilize these types of pumps because again they have a variety of fluids from the water glycols to the fire resistant and a wide range of operating viscosities. And they also like the fast operating response time and low pressure flow output ripple that allows the overall control of critical systems to perform correctly without instability caused by the pulsations in the supplied fluid. Uh, you'll also find this in the mining, open pit, underground, coal, oil drilling, processing, uh, the variable vein pumps are preferred in their, these industries for their quiet operation and again to handle the wide range of fluid types and the, because of the hydrodynamic journal bearing allows for long operation which is very key and critical. They just don't go down due to pump wear out. With that I want to say thank you for listening in to the vein pump introduction. I hope you found this helpful and will consider the use of a PBR or PBX vein pump in your next application if it requires 3000 PSI or less. I know years from now the end user will still be thanking you for using this type of pump. Please check out the Continental Hydraulics website for more details on the variable volume vein pumps. Thank you for your time.